In this video, I'm going to give you another application of Taylor series. So we've seen this table before. In this video, we we are going to make use of this one here, sine of x. So uh, so let's say you want to find the limit, the limit of uh, one over sine of x take away one over x as x heads towards uh, towards zero. So to do this, we are going to make use of this. Okay. So so merge these two fractions together. That would, so times top and bottom here by by x times top and bottom here by sine of x that will then give you that will then give you this so now make use of this uh, sine of x is really equal to this this whole thing here so put this into into uh, into here and then put this into into here so you've got your x you've got your x take away take away so when you put the whole series all the way to infinity all the way to infinity into here that will then give you this and then down here you've got your x your x and then uh, put this into here that will then give you this okay so so now now tidy this up so uh, so if you if you tidy this up here um these two will cancel out and here you've got a positive a positive uh x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial and then and then this next one here will be a negative and so on all the way to infinity and then down here you've got this times this that will then give you this this times this that will then give you to the power of 4 this times this it will give you to the power of 6 and so on all the way to infinity and then now um, now looking at the numerator, looking at the numerator, you can factor out, factorize out um, x to the power of 3. So looking at the numerator, um, if you factor out um, x to the power of 3, this will then give you 1. So factor, factor out the, um, the x to the power of 3. So that will leave you with a 1 here. And then uh, factor out x to the power of 3, then, then, uh, then that will then give you x, x squared, which is, which is what's left. And then for the denominator, factorize out um, x squared. So uh, so here you'd be left with a one. And then uh, if you if you take out x squared, what what you're left with here is x x squared. And then here take away take take out um, x squared. That would be that would what's left would be x to the power of four. So that would then from here that would then take you to here. So now. Uh, now you can tidy this thing up. Um, this divided by this, that will then give you your x. So it's really x multiplied by by the whole thing. But um, but it, by glancing at this, you can t see that uh, as x x as x heads towards zero, this whole thing here will, will will head towards something, and then you're going to times by well, this is heading towards zero. So uh, so the whole thing will be zero. Um, or, or or you can take it one step at, at a time. So, uh, so as x heads towards zero, um, this is going to head towards zero. So zero divided by five factorial, this thing here would be zero. And then if you look at this, as x heads towards zero, this thing here is going to be zero. Zero divided by this, th this is going to be zero. As x heads towards zero, this thing is going to be zero, making the whole lot zero. This whole thing here is going to be zero. All that's left would be this divided by this, and then you're going to times by something by something that's heading towards zero. So overall, the limit will be zero. So if you get a graph plotter and plot this, you can see that uh, as you head towards zero, as you head towards zero, dead on zero is undefined, but as you head towards zero, the limit is actually zero. Okay.